Okay, our next question is from Tom in Texas. Does Mike believe that the angel of the Lord is pre-incarnate Christ, or is the angel of the Lord a member of the divine council? Okay, I, I get this question periodically. Uh, it's, it's a good question, you know, again, fairly common one. I would say it this way. I believe the angel of the Lord is the second Yahweh figure. Now, I've written a lot, talked about, you know, I'm on videos and YouTube and whatnot about the two powers in heaven, the, the two Yahwehs of the Old Testament, the fact that the Old Testament has a Godhead idea. Uh, I would say it that way. The angel of the Lord is the second Yahweh figure, the, the second person of a trinity. Now, that doesn't mean that the angel of the Lord was, was Jesus of Nazareth. Okay, Jesus of Nazareth would be born of Mary and therefore physically, genetically related to her, and of course, physically descended, related to David. Now, if we look at Romans 1, here's why I say it this way and why I think that language is also important. We have in first verse of Romans, we read Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Verse 3, concerning his son, who was descended from David, according to the flesh. Okay? Jesus of Nazareth, was his, his flesh was physically related, genetically related to David, and of, also, of course, to his mother, Mary. You can't say that about the angel of the Lord, because Mary and David didn't exist yet. Okay? So, again, I'd say second person of the Trinity better describes the angel of Yahweh. And eventually that second person of the Trinity would become incarnate in Jesus of Nazareth. But in the Old Testament times, the second person of the Trinity was only embodied. The angel of the Lord is embodied in the Old Testament, but he is incarnated as Jesus of Nazareth in the New Testament. Embodiment and incarnation are two different things. Incarnation involves you know, being conceived in the womb, traveling through your your mom's birth canal, uh, being literally birthed out, okay, and and being a, a human being by birth, by the whole birth process, all right? That is what incarnation is, born as a man. Uh, embodiment in the Old Testament with the angel of the Lord, you just don't have that. So that is why I would use the language I do in relation to that question. 